Hey, before we jump into this video, we just wanted to let you know we will be at the Atlanta Pen Show on Saturday? Yes. Saturday. Don't know the what that day first, is. The first. Yeah. Okay. Saturday the first. Um, Let's check. We will be Double at the check. Atlanta Pen Show. Um, I figured it'd be fun. I've been out of the pen game for a little bit. I've been making videos, obviously you've been seeing that. It's the second. The second. Sorry, we'll be there on the second. April 2nd. Um, April 1st is a, would be a terrible time to go and meet people. Um, I would never be sure if they're messing with me or not, but uh, we will be there on the 2nd in Atlanta at the Sinesta Hotel where they're doing it. Uh, if anyone watches this and they want to meet up, just let me know. Um, it would be really fun to see some of y'all. Otherwise, I'm just going to try to get the lay of the land. I've been out of pens for a little while, so it'd be nice to catch up on new pen brands or paper or ink or whatever and maybe spend a, a little bit of money. Not a lot. I really don't. Don't want to be buying another um, five or six hundred dollar pen this time, but um, I, I really want to check around, speak to some of the vendors, and kind of see what's been going on in pen world lately. Uh, so that'll help us get back in the swing of things. Expect more pen videos coming up. Um, we really liked this one though. Um, but yeah, we will go ahead and jump into the review now. Hey everybody, Jake here. And I'm Jake's wife. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Twisby Swipe. If you're wondering why she's here with me, it's because she really, really likes Twisby pens and she owns way too many of them. Um, your favorite is the Twisby Go, right? It is. Yep. And you started with the Eco. I did. I and you, did. And you have several of those. So this is right between those two price-wise and I would say build quality-wise. So we will actually do some size comparisons between this and the other Twisbys that we have. And you will go ahead and see that now. Here we have the Twisby Swipe, the Twisby Go, and the Twisby Eco. So you can see it's smaller than the uh, Eco. It is larger though than the Go. I'll say that five times fast. So it's right in between these price-wise as well as size-wise. So if you find the Eco to be a little too long or the Go to be a little too short, you know, maybe this Twisty Swipe will be, will be a good size for you. I will say it is much thinner than the Go. The Go is a very girthy pen. This, not so much. All right. Camera angle's a little weird, but here they all are uncapped. It stays fairly similar. So the Go is the shortest, the Swipe is in the middle, and the Eco is the longest, although the Eco is not quite as long as what you see there. Again, the camera angle's a little distorted. I need to get some better equipment. But overall, they're all probably an eighth of an inch in size difference, at least as in terms of the overall length from the end to the nib and it, it stays true about the section as well because it's the same size nib as both the Go and the Eco if I'm correct. And here we have some of its more expensive Twisby Brethren. I figured I would go ahead and bring these in in case any of you have any of these pens as well even though they're not in the same price range. If you're looking for a cheaper alternative here's some size references. So here is the Twisby AL Mini, uh, the Twisby 580 ALR, and the Twisby VAC 700. So overall in size, it's very, very, very close to the 580. Again, the camera angle is a little weird. The 580 looks substantially longer. In person, it's maybe an eighth of an inch, probably less, probably closer to like a tenth of an inch in overall size difference between those two. The VAC 700, obviously a little bit larger, but again, not all that much bigger than the 580. So those three are in a somewhat similar size range, although I will say, um, these are both going to be a good bit heavier than the, than the swipe just because of the materials that they're using the aluminum here and the titanium here. All right, on to the writing sample. So just for reference, this is a medium nib. It will not focus because I have it on manual focus, but it is a medium sized Twisby nib. You're probably pretty used to these already, but I figured I'll do a small writing sample for you. And before you ask to know, my handwriting has not improved over the last year. So we have the Twisby swipe. I forgot how to do a cursive S there for a moment. And that is not how you do a W and an I, but there you go. This is the Twizzy Swipe. And this is a hard starting pen because I have not used it in several days at this point. So forgive the issues there. It is not the pen itself, it is me. The pen overall writes really, really well um, as long as you use it more than once a week. So we have a medium nib. And it's, you know, 
it's a standard Twisby medium. These are really the sizes that I use to compare. So Twisby's become kind of a standard for me because we have so many of them. I really like their pens. And, you know, cheap steel nib. Well, not cheap, but inexpensive steel nib. You're not going to get much flex out of it. And I really wouldn't push it all that much either. In terms of ink, this is a KWZ Sheen machine, if you're curious. Um, it is... I'll have, I'll have a review of it somewhat soon as well, but it's kind of a blue with a red, similar to a lot of the other sheens. I think they also sell a green to red, but this is the blue to red because I like that better. On to what we like about the pen. So first up for you, what was what is your, your favorite thing about this pen? Other than the ease of the converter filling it up, I really like the transparency of the the section mm -hmm. when you pull off the cap. I like that you can see all of the ink as it throw is it flows through there. It's just it makes it really pretty. Yeah, it's very similar to the the eco in that sense. Um, the go is a little bit more like uh, foggy or it's opaque. opaque. Yeah. Yeah, Jinx. Uh, the eco you can actually see, and I got very very used to that in a lot of my Twisbees is seeing the ink in there. It's really really cool. I also really, really like the filling mechanism. So you get a couple of options. You get the springy converter that comes with this. You can also use standard international converters or standard international cartridges. And it does come with a few of those things as well. Next up for me and you as well, I think is the nib. Um, Twisby nibs for me have been consistently really, really good. Um, we've had a couple of issues with the stubs, but I, that could just be a general dislike of stubs. But we usually get their medium and I think you have some broads as well. Yeah. I really like their mediums and broads. Um, Twisby does a very, very good job with nibs. So for most people, um, I know prices have gone up a lot on stuff, and I, without you know getting into it too much, I don't think this is a $27 pen, but um, it does write very well. So if you're looking for something that writes very consistently, Twisby is a great place to go for it. Um, I never have any issues with their flow or anything like that. Mm -mm. It's very smooth. Yeah, it's smooth, it's consistent, and... Um, they are very, very good with the customer service about replacing things. So if you ever have any issues with it, they've been pretty good um, historically about servicing their pens. Next up, the design of the pen. Um, it's kind of this pentagonal barrel. Um, it's five-sided. And overall, it looks very sleek. I'm not a big fan of the clip design, but everything else is really, really nice in my opinion. Um, the sections, just the typical kind of Twisby section, it's a little narrow for me, but overall I think it looks fantastic. And the pen is, um, it's very unique in Twisby's lineup. It reminds me a lot of the classic, um, which not many people know about or care about because it's not a transparent um, piston filling pen. Or kind of the Go, where it's also, the Go is kind of in between because it is opaque, but you know, somewhat similar to that. I didn't realize how big this pen was until <laughs> putting it right beside it. Yeah. And last up on my like list is the packaging. I think the packaging looks really, really good. Um, I also like how they kept it somewhat inexpensive, but the packaging still, like if you were giving this as a gift, I think it would look really cool. Open it up and the pen's just in there and you get the extras, including a spring to hold your cartridge in place and you get a regular um, international standard converter along with some brief instructions. Next up is going to be the neutral. You didn't really have anything that you, I didn't. Were, you were either very opinionated about it or you hated it. <laughs> um, so next up for me is the size. It is a little bit smaller than the other Twisby pens, especially narrowness wise. And it's not super, super great in my hand. I don't hate it. I think for most people it's a really good size. Did you like it ergonomically or did you have any issues or just kind of middle ground or? It was kind of middle ground. Like you pointed out, it is thinner than the Twisby Go, which is what yeah. I was used to, but my pens are typically on the smaller side, mm -hmm. so it didn't bother me that much. Next up for me is going to be the post depth. Um, it just doesn't post very deeply. The pen becomes very, very long when you are using it. It sticks up a lot over my hand, and I have fairly big hands. Um, it's just too tall for me. I, it's not really meant to be posted. I get that. It only posts maybe, what is that, like half an inch, an inch yeah. maybe? Probably closer to an inch. Um, it, it doesn't post that deeply. I don't really post my pens, just a comment. Wasn't a big fan. Last thing in the neutral section is gonna be the price. 
Twisby makes very, very good pens, but this is $27, and I don't think it's really quite worth that. Um, to me, this is more like a $20 to $22 pen, maybe. It's, it's definitely a little bit better than their Twisby Go, but I like the Go better, so I'd probably go with that over this, no pun intended. But yeah, I don't think this is worth the extra, like, eight bucks, nine bucks over that. Mm-hmm. Because I, I know, without even asking you, you would buy the Go over this any day. I would. I will say, it seems like the filling mechanism with this one might mm. be a little bit easier to handle one person than the Go. Just because generally the Go, I am struggling to push down the string and uh, the spring and hold it into the bottle without... Yeah, so you kind of have to do it like a hypodermic needle almost for me. Um, I have to hold it here and then press. And the spring's kind of stout, I'm not going to lie. So once you get used to it, it's fine. But this section is also a little slippery. And you can very much lose your grip on this and send this flying into your yep. ink bottle. Yep. Um, so it, it is it is a lot more user friendly, I think, than the Go. But if you're willing to put in the work, I would also prefer the Go. Let's go ahead and go on to the dislike. All right, first up on the dislike is something that we both are not big fans of, and that is the clip. I'm of the mindset personally that I don't think most fountain pens need a clip. If I spend eighty to a hundred, two, three, four, five hundred dollars on a pen, I'm not clipping it in my pocket. That's not going to happen. Um, and I think the Go kind of nailed it with that. Sorry to keep bringing this back up, but it just has a little stop, basically. It's a roll stop. You could put a keychain or what do you call it, a lanyard on it and pluck it up out of your pocket if that's your thing. But I don't think this is necessary. It's so low profile that it's unusable. I think it's really ugly, too. <laughs> <laughs> it, the design of it doesn't it is look not that great. cute. Yeah, um, the design of it, it, it sticks out really bad. It doesn't match anything else on the pen. Nothing else is like this silvery color. I also hate that there are slight little slits that it looks like the clip slides into. Yeah, so but what I'm thinking not... is they put the finial on. Yeah. Or they, they, you can take the finial off and get and take the clip out, mm -hmm. um, which actually I might look at doing. No, never mind. The finial is separate. So this looks, this probably just hooks inside of the cap, actually. Um, I can't see it because there's a, like a little um, block in here. But yeah, it doesn't look that great. I really wish I could just take it off altogether. Mm -hmm. um, I kind of, I hate it. And it's so, it is so flat against their body that there's zero ramp. Um, for reference, this is a typical Twisby clip on their higher end models. Very functional. And this is the clip on their Eco. Um, Still functional. Yeah, it's just you know, bent metal on this one, but this is plastic as well. Mm -hmm. It's just painted plastic and it's, the retention on it's really bad. It is very, very flat against the body and it functions more as a roll stop than anything else. I'm pulling pretty hard and I'm afraid it's you're getting nothing off of that. Snap if you actually tried to. Put it in like jeans or something. Yeah. Yeah, with, a, with how thick that material is. Yeah, I don't think it would be all that great to put in your pants. All right, so the next thing that you disliked were the grips on. The seams on the grip, yeah. The seams on the grip. So there's little um, injection molding seams on the grip. That always pisses me off. I don't know why. You don't get that with a lot of the higher end Twisby, so it polishes off. Obviously not the case here, uh, but that just irks me so so bad I can't stand it because I can feel them when I go to write and it it drives me insane it's such a little nitpick but it, it's it's a problem for me I don't like that very much and you had one more dislike as well yes and it's really funny because you liked the body of the pen and you yeah. thought the design was really nice well there's I, no pentagonal pens out there pentagonal. I hate the the edges on it it's not what do you mean it's like it's not nice where where it sits against the body like this or back here no, 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 the the seams on the well, I guess that's part of the hexagon. Just just the sides. I don't like the sides. You don't like the shape of it. I don't. I don't like when you hold it. It's not smooth compared to all of their other pens. They it's are. Not, it's not perfectly cylindrical. It's really funny because that might be why you didn't like the 580 all that much because it's actually like a diamond shape. Yep. No. Nope. Because I bought this pen for you and you've barely ever used it. This poor little pen has been rejected. Um, same thing with the 580 AL. It's like this diamondy shape. It, it is not perfectly smooth. The only ones from Twisby that are perfectly smooth are the Eco, the VAC 700, and I think the VAC Mini, and the Go. Um, and the classic. And I just remembered 
there was another Twisby pen. I had one very briefly. It was green. They, they skyrocketed in price. Do you know what I'm oh, talking about? Oh, was it like the, this one? No. So that's a 580 um, AL Mini. I don't remember. Hi. There was a brief interruption in the footage because of some issues with the camera that I'm using. That's okay, though. The Twisby Aurora was a pen that they did a very limited run on. Prices skyrocketed. I think they've done a similar pen called the Draco, which I did not buy because I didn't really like the Aurora, but there it is. Um, so yeah, those are all overall impressions on the pen. So overall, I think it's a really middling pen. It's not really that great in Twisby's lineup. I think compared to a lot of other pens, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot better Twisby pens out there for even less money with the Go. Um, I like it better. I know you like it better. I'd spend a little bit more and get the Eco, honestly. The quality is night and day between those two. I will say I like the color options of this better than the Eco. There's a lot more color variety other than just with the Go, which is my favorite Twisby. Yeah, they haven't done, with the Eco and stuff, they've been out for years. They've done a lot of really cool, interesting colors with it. Yeah. But in their main lineup, there aren't that many because they're so limited edition. This is probably limited edition as well. I'm not really sure. But with the Go, they really haven't done any cool colors. Just the gray and the blue. Yeah. And I, they have done one or two other ones, I think. But we didn't get them because we already have two Goes. So there's no point. Um, if they did a really, really cool um, color on that, I think it would be more interesting. Maybe even a solid color like this would be kind of cool. But yeah. I, I would avoid this pen if you have other Twisbees. Not avoid it necessarily, but I wouldn't spend the money on it. Get yourself another Eco or a Go. Um, but if you're just looking for a more traditional looking pen than another Twisby, it's not a bad option. But yeah, thanks for watching. Um, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, uh, join my OnlyFans, all that stuff. And, Please. and keep an eye out for another video. Thanks, guys. Bye.